Hey loves. Hi dad. Hi daddy. What are you guys doing? We were playing row. Anyway, I have some news. What's it dad? We have some friend. I'm dating with her and she gonna live with us. And she have a son. If that okay with you guys. Dad if you're happy we are happy. As long as you still care about us. We support you in every way. Yes dad. We are okay with that. I hope she treats us good though. If she doesn't I'll know what to do. Hey babe. Hello baby. Let me guess you're Renata and Hank. Yes. Well, we have new mom. Well, I don't really care. Meet my gorgeous son. Mom? Babe? Why are you guys yelling at me? Stop being rude to my kids. You just met them and you're gonna be their mom. Let me correct you. I'm gonna be their stepmom. So, step or not you still need to be respectful to them or else we're over. No, no, I, I need, need his, his money, money and, and make, make him, him spoil me. me. Fine, sorry kids. I guess it's okay mom. I Do mean stepmom. Do not step call me mom. Oh, okay, good. You said stepmom. Hugo, you can call me dad from now on, honey. Yay, thank you so much, dad. Hank and Renata, the first your brother in. Two hours later. Honey, dinner is ready. Um, Hank and Renata, dinner is ready. Coming. A uh, mom, can you be nicer to them? Oh, you tell me what to do. Oh, 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 what do you think you're doing? Sitting on the chair to eat dinner, WTF is wrong with you. Renato, language. What are they doing wrong? How dare they eat on same table with this? They should sit on the ground. What? Mom, no, that's unfair. If they sit on the ground, I'm gonna sit too. Ugh, so just sit with them. I don't care anymore. And respect me. After dinner. Hey, Renata and Hank. I want to talk to you guys in private. Sure, step up. Listen here, you two. If you don't do what I say and respect me, I will up SC you both and ground you, okay? And I hate you both. I don't even like your dad. If you tell him what I told you, you're done. Okay. okay. She, didn't she didn't even, even realize, realize I've been, been recording. recording. What did she tell you? Did she hurt your feelings? No, no, she didn't do anything that hurt our feelings. We are okay. Okay, now, babe, give me $1,000. I am going shopping at the mall. No, do I look like a bank to you. Here's $200, no more than that. Whatever, not thank you. And if you're gonna be rude to me and keep treating me like that, we are over. I know you're in love with me, so your choice, my love. I am so sorry, my love, but I just don't want you to spend that much money on purses and shoes and stuff. Like we need those money for living. I will stop being rude because I can't live without you. He, he fell, fell for, for it. it. I, I would, would never, never love you, love you loser. loser. I, I am gonna, gonna go, go spend, spend his, his money, money now. now. Okay, guys, come to my room. Here's what Step Clown told us. I recorded it. Oh my god, I knew it. Good job. I didn't even know. Okay, I am back. Hank, go clean my room and Renata, go clean the bathroom. But. No buts, go now. Listen to our mom. It's okay. After we will go get ice cream. I'm gonna wipe the floors. I didn't tell you though, you little brat. I know you didn't tell me. I'm not deaf. But it's unfair they do all the work it shouldn't even be us. You're the one who's supposed to do it. You are all brats. Go clean the house, then you're grounded. Okay, you clown trash monster. Renata, do not talk like that to your mom. She's not my mom, and she will never be. One hour later. We are done now. I'm tired and sleepy, so good night. Whatever, bad night. Okay, guys, we lied. We are not gonna sleep. Renata, I miss mom. Wanna call her? Yeah, me too. Let's call her since the clown and dad aren't here. Hugo, don't worry. You can be here and talk to her too if you want. Okay. I am locked door so step clown and dad can't get in. Oh my god, mom. Hey mom. Oh my gosh. Hey my angels. I miss you so much. We, we do, do too. too. Yay mom, we can see your beautiful face now. I can see yours and Renatus too. Wait, who's that cute child? That's Hugo, our stepbro. He's like brother to us. Dad married a girl named. 
I don't remember which is Hugo mom and she's treating us so bad. Dad was on our side but now he's on her side. But Hugo is on our side. He's so kind. Hi mom made us clean her room and bathroom and Hugo chose to join us. Ugh. I wish we can live with you mom. Oh my gosh. She's such a bitch. You're just kids how could she do that? I know right. Oh Hugo. Nice to meet you sweetheart. Me too mom I mean Magnolia. Um. I am so happy. You called me mom. You're honestly the best mom ever. You treat your kids good. You love them so much. My mom is never like that. Hugo, what do you mean? She treats you good. She doesn't make you clean. She isn't mean to you. Now I love you guys so much so I'm gonna tell you the story. I was so nervous because we didn't know ourselves that much. You see, before my mom met your dad, when we were home she used to hit me, make clean the whole house all by myself. And she also make me sleep in the dog bed. But before we came here she told me not to say a word of what she did to me so she's gonna be nice to me. Just so your dad and you guys ain't think she's a bad mom and she's using your dad for money. Oh my god. How could she do that to you? I wanna punch her in doll face. That's it Hugo sweetheart and my loves. Come live with me. Yay. But we can't until three day. Yeah well it's okay. Doesn't matter what day. But I can't leave you guys like that Hugo. You can call me mom from now on honey. Oh that's so cute and heartful. Thank you so much. This means the world to me mommy. Welcome honey. So in three days at one o'clock a.m. I am gonna come get you guys. We don't want them to realize anything. Yes, yes mommy. mommy. That's all. We needed to tell you. We just called because we missed you and wanted to tell you about our step clown. Okay I miss you too. Now you all go all to bed. It's late and you don't want the brats to know you're awake. My loves love you. Bye. The next day. You each get half a bread and half a cheese for breakfast. And here's juice you each get one sip then go clean the whole house. What? That's not gonna make us fall. We don't care. Exactly? You know what I will. We don't care. Go clean the whole house with your siblings. Or else we will punish you so hard. I hate you both ugly rats. Hugo, language, and go clean the house now. We don't have all day. First, I can talk and do whatever I want. Second, why didn't you have all day? You're going with your sugar daddy. Excuse me, you little dog sheet. Go clean now and then you're grounded for two weeks. Okay, and doesn't look like I care. We are not cleaning the house do it yourself ugly mob. Whatever, babe, can you give me one dollar million? I need to go get stuff from the Gucci store and Louis Vuitton. Yeah, sure, babe. Here you go. Oh, I need to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hello, babe. Sorry. I was downstairs with the idiots, but yes. So in a couple weeks or days. I will break up with him and come to you, and we can travel with the money he gave me. Okay, bye. Guys, I am going to the mall now. Bye, don't come back. Hank, Renata come upstairs. Why? Because we wanted to play Roblox. Oh, okay, then bye brats. Guys, look. Shows them video. Oh my god we have enough proof but we need more cause dad won't believe us. So I got the photo you got the video. Now Renata, it's your turn. Find one more proof. Yeah, when we all go in the group chat we'll show dad. He has been very drunk lately. Look what he gave us for breakfast. True. Yeah. Guys, I have a plan. What is it? Tomorrow the clown gonna go to the mall again. So we're gonna ask her if we can go and if she says yes. She gonna spill something for sure. Oh that's actually very smart. I'm down for it. I'm down for it too. But what if she said we can't go? I didn't think about that. But I guess if she said no we are gonna have to think of other plan. After tomorrow we are going to mom's house. Yay I'm so excited to meet my new mom. She seems so nice. You guys are so lucky to have her. Okay now let's go downstairs. I think the clown is back. Yeah. Hey I am back. I still have $400 left. So tomorrow give me like about $1,000? Okay, anyways, bedtime brats. The next morning. Thanks for the money, babe. I am gonna go now, bye. Wait, can we come please? 
Ugh, you shut up, rat. We'll carry things for you, please. You're clever, okay. Hey, step clown. I mean stepmom. Can we get ice cream? No, even if you scream and cry how ha, ha. Just follow me wherever we go. Ugh, whatever. They back home after two hours later. Okay, we are gonna go upstairs now. Great, we got all the proof we need. Yeah, should we text Magnolia and tell her that tomorrow we can go with her? Yeah, sure, why not? Ten minutes later. Hey, loves today when the rats fell asleep. Pack your bags and hide them. I will take you all as soon as possible. Great, now let's go pack and hide our bags. They pack all of your stuff and hide them. Get down, you ugly brats. Dinner is ready. Why are you calling you and dad down to dinner? Pop of bro. I yo boy. What did you just say, you brat? Come down right now and eat ugly. You heard me wild and clear. Bye, we're heading out of McDonald's. What the heck? Who said you can, and I made dinner? First, you big dummy, I said we can. Second, you really think your gross ass food will make us full. It's disgusting, and you give us half a slice of everything. Facts though. Um, how could you, Kevin? You're gonna let them talk like that about me. Don't talk to your mom like that. But we do give them half of everything. I mean, they don't even deserve it. Whatever. Bye, bad night. Do the dish. Hey, where do you think you're going? Clean the dishes. No. Do them now or else. Or else what? You crusty, musty, dusty, fat cow clown. You think I'm scared of you. Well, honey, I'm not. And dad, when you find out she's using you, don't come to me and my siblings and beg for us to forgive you. For the one million time she is not using me for money or anything. A couple hours later. Guys, wake up now. It's 12 o'clock a.m. We need to grab our bags and go to the location where my brother's mom told us to meet so can go with her. I made sure the clowns slept. You scared us, but okay, let's get ready. Ten minutes later, they are all ready. They go to the location where Magnolia told them to go to. Oh, uh, mom. Mom. Mo. Magnolia. Hank. Renata. I'm um, Hugo. You're so cute. Don't be shy, sweetie. And I said you can call me mom. Thank you. You're the best mom ever. Okay, guys, let's leave now. Before someone catches us over here. They'll go to Magnolia's house safely. The next day. Mom, I think we should tell dad now. Step clown and dad has been added. Hi, don't you dare talk. Shows all the proof that stepmom using him. Um, Marina, how could you? Dad, we told you. Don't come me and beg for us to forgive. We are now with mom safe and happy. Bye. They live happily with Magnolia. No one's online. Hey, guys, we haven't spoken in a while. Does anyone want to play a game? God, Grace. Do you ever know when to shut up? Oh, I didn't mean to. For real? Anyways, can I add my boyfriend? You have a boyfriend? So, does your gay ass have a crush on me? Isha, that's not nice. Shut the fuck up. Mad cause your dad left you. Oh my god, Isha. Thank you, Ellie. I'm shooting myself. Guys, you know I don't like it when you joke about personal things. Oh my god, you're no fun. Literally. Stop being so soft. You're the definition of a snowflake. But you guys know that. Either shut up or go cry about it. Exactly. We don't care. Anyways, you never answered my question. Yes, Isha. You can add your boyfriend. Isha added Arthur. Let me text him to get online. Grace, I need to tell you something. What's up? I just wanted to let you know that you look like you've put on a few pounds. Ellie, what the fuck? Well, no need to be so rude. I'm just looking out for you. I'm back. Guys, this is my boyfriend, Arthur. Hi, cutie. Um? Relax, I'm just testing you. Oh my god. Grace, say hi. Don't be so rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello? Hi. Don't worry. Didn't think you were being rude. Oh, okay. So you guys want to play a game? Sure, whatever. What game? Dahood, join me. Grace, are you going to be alright all by yourself? Wait, what? Why isn't she going to play with us? She doesn't want to. She told me. Right, Grace? Yeah. I don't really like Dahood. So you guys can go ahead. Well, I mean, we don't have to play Dahood. Let's find another game. No, it's fine. If they want to, 
It's okay with me. Babe, don't worry about it. If she doesn't want to play, then let her. Come on, guys. You're not going with them? No, so tell me if you don't like the hood. What games do you like? I mean, I like The Floor is Lava. The Floor is Lava? I bet. Accept my friend request. Okay. Join me in The Floor is Lava. Oh, all right. She joins him and they start to play. 500 wins. You weren't kidding when you said you liked the game. Yeah, I guess I do play a lot. So anyways, you using a voice changer or what? Excuse me. Sorry, it's just that your voice is too good to be true. Oh, thank you. But don't you have a girlfriend? Slow down there, lady. I'm just giving you a compliment. There's no harm in that, is there? No, not really, I guess. They continue to play Roblox. Why is she spamming the chat? She hates it when I don't tell her where I'm going. It's so annoying. Listen, I have to go back to the chat and stay with her. I'd advise you not to come back at the same time as me. She gets jealous easily. All right. I'll play with you tomorrow, right? Yeah, of course. See you then, princess. He's such a flirt. I'm just gonna log off. I guess there's no point of me going back to the call. Where is he? I swear, he's so annoying. What do you need? What are you talking about? You didn't tell me where you ran off to. I was with my friends. Oh, really? Yes. Then add them. Add them to the call right now. All right, fine. Where am I? Let's get some chicken soup, bro. That what? bro was cold. cold. Had to, Had back, to back him up. Okay, whatever. Brayden, was Arthur just playing with you? Yes, I am. My pretty boy. Arthur was playing with me. Sorry for snatching him up like that. Just couldn't keep my hands of his little face. Austin, you gay or something? No, emo girl. It's called having a friendship. You should try it someday, bro. So anyways, can we go back to playing now? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. So Arthur, you sneaky monkey. Why do you have me lying to your girlfriend? It's nothing really. Does it have anything to do with the other girl in this chat? Yeah, kind of. I was just playing with her and I didn't want Isha to get jealous. Right. And absolutely no other reason. Yes, I'm positive. All right, then, when do I get to meet this girl? No, dude, don't. She's too kind-hearted for you. Wow. So you're saying I'm not good enough? I'm saying no one's good enough. Not even me. Arthur, you're back. Yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you, lady. Grace. Well, then, Lady Grace, may I accompany you in playing your next Roblox game? Haha, <laughs> yes, you, sir. Austin. May you, Sir Austin? Yeah, so let's play The Floor is Lava. My favorite. Mine too. Since when? Since forever, Sir Arthur. They all play The Floor is Lava. What's going on here? You're cheating on me? What? No. Just playing with my friends. Yeah, right. Then why is she here? Is she not allowed to be? Well, I guess not. Tell us why she's here. Cause she's my friend. Are you joking? We agreed that you have no friends that are girls. Well, she's not only my friend, she's... Austin's girlfriend? Yeah, like anyone would want you. For real? Really, Ellie? You want to talk? The only thing that you can pull is a handle on a door. Humble yourself, darling. Don't talk to my friend that way. You pick me, girl. Don't be so insecure about losing your boyfriend. Cause maybe then he'll want to hang out with you more. You guys treat me like sheet. So I'm just gonna say this. The devil called. He said his to pet rats hand Ellie and Isha escaped and he wants them back. Whatever. At least someone wants us back. You guys really trying to bring my dad into this again. I could care less. Just get lost. Fine then. Come on, Arthur, let's go. Coming. Arthur. Sorry, Grace. Let's go. Bro. I need you to trust me. He knows what he's doing. Let him go. All right. Let's just play some more games. Lead the way. Two weeks later. Who's the other girl in the chat? Hello, I'm Austin's cousin. Oh, hello. What's your name? My name is Nova. And also I heard about what happened with you and your friends. Austin told me about it. I just want to say that I'm really sorry for all that. Oh, don't worry. It's not your fault. Austin, I thought you said there was another guy in this chat. Wasn't he called Arthur or something? Yeah, but he left with the other girls. We don't know what he's up to cause he won't respond. Oh, I'm sorry for bringing him up. It's all right. Let's just play some Roblox or create a private server on Piggy and we can play it. Meanwhile in the other group. Arthur, how come you didn't call me last night? Cause you're annoying and clingy. Your voice is so bad. Use a voice changer. Haha Arthur, you're so funny. Right. Who is this? Hello, 
I'm Nella and I was wondering if I could join your friend group. Sure, I guess. We have been looking for a new person to add. That's great. I've been looking for a friend group all day. What are your guys' names? I'm Ellie. Isha. Arthur. You all have such nice names. Do you guys want to play Roblox? Sure. You guys want to play Da Hood? Sure. Sounds fun. Okay, I'll join you soon. All right. Arthur, do you remember me? Excuse me. It's me, Austin's cousin. We used to play all the time as little kids. Oh my god, Nova. I thought I would never see you again. That's not the point. What's going on with you? Why aren't you hanging out with the others? Who are the others? I'm talking about Austin and Grace. You just randomly left them. Why did you do that? Grace was upset with you. She was. I told her to trust me. Yeah. Well, I guess it's a bit hard to trust someone who you hadn't spoken to in almost three weeks. I guess you have a point. Listen, Arthur, I can stay for long, but you need to get the others to trust you. If you can talk to them, then just find a way. Okay. Before you go, tell them that I said to. Okay. On a serious note, Piggy can be pretty frustrating. Tell me about it. But anyways, where did Nova run off to? Probably some of her other friends wanted to play with her. She's pretty popular, to be honest. Must be nice. Anyways, I think I'm going to log off. I'll talk to you later. All right. Talk to you soon. Oh, my God. Austin, you'll never guess what I just did. Tell me. Okay, so, you know how you haven't spoken to Arthur in, like, forever. I just finished talking to him. It's kind of a long story, to be honest. I asked his friends if I could be their friend. And then when they left, I went to Arthur and was like, how come you left? And? Well, at first, Arthur had no ideas what I was talking about, so I had to jog his memory a little bit. Then he remembered and totally didn't mean to hurt you guys. He said he wanna pay back for how they treated Grace all these years, so he said he was going to make them turn on each other. But to do that, he said he needed to get their trust back. And that's the only reason he wasn't responding to you. He said to meet him at Sugarberry Park so you guys could talk about it. Also, one more thing. He said something about a chicken soup. Who the heck is blowing up my phone? Let me check. Hey Grace, it's me. I'm sorry, who's this? Listen, if I tell you who I am, you gonna hate me. If you don't, I hate you anyway. How did I know you're not some weird pedo bear? Okay, wow. I'm not one of those. Okay, here goes nothing. It's me, Arthur. I know that this might seem weird to you. And I know this could be hard to believe me. But I have a plan, and I need you to trust me just for this. I don't know. I can't tell if you're telling the truth or not. I am. I know how to make the girls hate each other and I need you and Austin help. You guys just need to meet me at Sugarberry Park. I'll explain everything more clearly later. Okay, whatever. That was pretty weird. Let me go online to see if Austin knows about it. Austin, get online. This is important. Jeez. Grace, what do you need? I just got a message from Arthur. He told me this plan about how he was going to split the girl's friendship up. He said to meet him at Sugarberry Park and needed help with the plan. Do you know about this? Yeah, I do. Nova told me about it a couple of days back, but I never got the exact date of when to meet him. Well, I'm pretty sure we are supposed to meet him today. So are you going to go? I mean, if he's telling the truth, it would be silly not to go. But there's a 50% chance that he could be setting us up. Are you going to take the chance? I mean, at the end of the day, he is my best friend. I guess the only thing I can do is trust him. Well, if you're going, I guess I'm going too. I trust you on this. All right, let's meet somewhere else first, and then we can go there together. Sounds good. Hey Grace, it's me. Hi bro. Tell us the plan. I'm already done everything. Just want to meet you guys. Meanwhile. I'm so excited to finally meet Arthur. Calm down, he's my boyfriend. Yeah, well, soon he will be mine. Excuse me, who do you think you are? Someone way prettier than you. Oh, come on. You can't really be sitting here and think that for one second Arthur would want to be with someone like you. And since you want to act all high and mighty with me now, I guess I should tell you the truth. I'm only friends with you because you gave me that bullshit of a story about how your friends are so mean to you and you've never had a true friend. Well, take a hand. Maybe your friends would still like you if you weren't such a bish. But that's my personality. For God's sake, being a bish is not a personality, so stop trying to make it one. Stop acting like a pygmy and grow the fuck up. Ain't nobody want a stupid girl. I'm leaving. Have fun with your online boyfriend. 
all taken from real life. Man, I need to stop cast fishing emo girl. We didn't even need to do anything. Man, I'm talking a break from Roblox. Same. Ice cream, anyone? Bistie, bistie. What? I'm trying to sleep. Oh, sorry. I'll talk to you tomorrow. The next morning. Good morning, bestie. Ah, uh, you're so annoying. What? I made a new friend yesterday. Can I add him? Boy is all you wanted. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to add him. Abel has been added. Hey, bestie. Hey, bestie. This is my other bestie, Lydia. I'm not your bestie. Just call me Lydia. Damn. Oh, sorry, Lydia. Anyway, want to do age and name reveal? Sure. I'll go first so you shut up for once. I'm Lydia. I'm 15. I'm Abel and I'm 16. I'm Ariana. I'm 15. You guys want to play ragdoll? Sure. No, because I don't want to be seen with her. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Ariana. Can I private chat you? Sure. What's up, Abel? Why is she so rude to you? I mean, she judges you. No, she don't. Let's just go back to the group chat. Wait, do you not see how she treats you? That's messed up. That's just how she is. Now, please, let's just hide back. Okay? Sorry if I made it weird between us. Now you're good. Don't worry. You guys took forever, but I don't care. You seem to care a little. Oh, shut up, Mr. Perfect. Who said I was perfect? I'm not trying to start anything. I was just saying. Next time, don't say it. It's that simple. Jeez, I don't know what I did to you. But how long have you and Ariana been friends for? Don't worry about it. Five years? Almost six. Ariana, shut up. You don't even know this kid. You shouldn't tell him anything about us. Is that clear? Yes, Lydia. That's clear. Ariana, don't listen to her. You're not her pet. You can do whatever you want. Just stay out if this Abel. Okay, I'm head to bed. Good night, girls. Good night, Abel. Sleep well. So, do you like him? Lydia. He's your new bestie, not mine. So, I care less. Oh. Why did you tell me I'm the first place? I don't care about your friends or over your nothing to me. Ariana. I'm sorry. I'm going to bed. Don't text me in the morning. I'll text you if I want. Weirdo. Good night, Lydia. Hey, Ariana. I can't sleep. I know. You've been online the whole time. Why can't you just stay out of this? I'm sorry, but she's treating you like crap. You deserve way better. Don't tell me what I deserve, Abel. You don't know mine and Lydia's story. Okay. We've been through a lot. If you can't tell me we are getting treat like this, then I'm just going to unfriend you. There's no friendship if there's lies. Then unfriend already. I can't tell you what you want to know. I'm sorry. Okay. Goodbye, Ariana. I had fun meeting your so-called friend. Jeez, Abel, you're just like everybody else. Ariana, I'm really not. I'm trying to help you, but you won't let me in. Just go, Abel. It's better off if we never speak again. Goodbye. I'm just going to bed. Today it went bad. In the morning. Hey, Lydia. I know you told me not to text you, but I unfriend Abel. Finally, bro. Did he try and help you like every other dude? Yay, but I think he actually cared about me. The others sounded like they didn't want me. But him, he was different. Tell yourself that, Ariana. But all the guys in the world would rather sleep six feet under than be with you. Yay, I know. I just wish was pretty enough to be loved. Well, you're not. So get over it. Ariana, you're worthless. Say it. Say you're worthless. I'm worthless. Good girl. Now leave me alone or I'll hack your account. Okay. Bye, Lydia.